Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're animating our dynamic crosshair so that it reacts to the movement speed of our player, and in the future, reducing our gun accuracy. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub, and if you would like to use the written version of this tutorial or download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. We're picking up right where we ended in the Create Dynamic Crosshair video. Link to that is in the description. First, head to the reticle script where we need to add the following export variables. Reticle lines will house our four line 2D nodes in an array. This line 2D is called a type hint and tells the script what kind of node should go in our array. Player controller references our controller so we can get the player's speed. Reticle speed determines how quickly the lines of our crosshair or reticle change when the player moves, and reticle distance sets how far they move. Before we add more code, be sure to add each of the four line 2D nodes to our reticle script in the inspector, going in order from top, right, bottom, and left, and then select our player controller parent node for our player controller variable. Then add this function that will run every frame in our process function. This code will get the current velocity of our player, then gets the movement speed by getting the distance between our origin point, which is our vector three zero zero zero, and our velocity. Then we have one line of code for each line 2D node to update the position of our lines based on our speed. The first line, for example, gets the line 2D node in our array at index zero, or the first node that we added top, then sets it to a lerp of its current position to its adjusted position where y equals our reticle distance multiplied by our movement speed, with our reticle speed as our alpha. This line is repeated for each of our four lines, the difference basically being what direction we want the line to move. Finally, add our adjust reticle lines function to our process function so it runs every frame and then run your scene. We can use our reticle distance to adjust how far the lines move outward when the player moves, and the reticle speed to change how slowly or quickly they move. And now you have a dynamic crosshair ready for some shooting mechanics. Alright guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider it a like and subscribe to the channel as we're going to be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the written tutorials and the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching and as always, keep creating.